So in previous videos, we've discussed how facts become relevant when they help us, or we think they will help us proceed towards a goal that we value. We also choose to do science based on what we value. So what are our values and where do they come from? Our values are our judgment of what's important. If we think this thing is more important than that thing, we're making a value judgment. For example, I brought this example up before. Should we study a cure for cancer or the average angle that a blade of grass grows out of a lawn? Well, there's nothing inherently better about studying for a cure for cancer. It's only the fact that we value living over dying and health over sickness that we choose to study a cure for cancer. And determining the average angle of a blade of grass leads to nothing that we value, so no one's going to do that. Where do our values come from? We might be tempted if we're Christians to say the Bible, but, but why do we read the Bible in the first place? Some of us because our parents made us, but we could have refused that maybe there would have been punishment. So maybe we didn't really value reading the Bible, we valued not being punished. Or maybe we liked it when our parents read to us. Or maybe we just liked the stories that we read. Maybe we valued learning to read for ourselves. Our basic values come from our instincts and emotions. And where did our instincts and emotions come from? Well, for those of us who believe in God, they came from God. For those of us who don't believe in God, they came from evolution. On top of our instinct and emotion, we have our rational thoughts. Our rational thoughts develop more slowly than our instincts and emotions. They also operate more slowly. Your instinctive and emotional systems work much faster because they have to. If you come across a danger, you don't have time to sit and rationally consider whether that snake is venomous or whether that snake is close and might bite you. You have to react quickly. Reason and rationality are essentially a tool to manage our instincts and emotions. So we inherently have our initial values, but we also have a lot of freedom to take it from there. Again, those of us who are Christians would say we got that freedom from God. So why should I value what the Bible says? Someone might say, because it came from God. And so what? Why do I care that it came from God? Well, it might be because I believe that life is important and I believe that life is better than death. That's one of my key values, and the Bible promises life. Valuing life might seem self-evident to us, but it isn't for everyone. Not everyone believes that living is better than dying. Mass shooters don't believe living is better than dying, especially those who take their own lives in the process. They would take out a lot more people if they could. They're just taking out as many as they can. They don't believe that living is better than dying. Many people go back and forth, sometimes thinking death is better than life. It doesn't take very long thinking that way for something truly awful to happen. You can believe life is better than death 99% of the time, but just that one, during that 1% of the time, you can make a permanent decision, and many people do. The values of one person often come into conflict with the values of another. For example, my comfort is more important than your life. So what do we do when our values come in conflict with another person's values? That's essentially what morality is all about. And that brings me to a third form of truth, which I'll call moral truth. Moral truth has to do with what's right and what's wrong. Murder is wrong. Well, there's no scientific experiment you can run to prove that murder is wrong. So it's not really in the realm of factual truth. That's moral truth. Now, many of us believe that without the Bible telling us to. Those of us who are Christians believe that morality was created by God. That is, that what is morally right and what is morally wrong was determined by God. It's not something that we can just make up for ourselves, although we often try to do that. Moral truth is not based on facts, it's not based on science. 